Since Muhammad Buhari engaged members of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 and further measures of containing the pandemic as two weeks extension of the ease of lockdown ends Monday, Chairman of the Task Force and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, led the members to the meeting where feelers emerged that more segments of the economy may be reopened as the battle against the uncommon health challenge rages on. State House correspondent. Reports. Members of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 were in the State House to submit their fourth interim report as the nation intensifies efforts at controlling and containing the coronavirus pandemic. At the interactive engagement, President Muhammad Buhari and the PGF delegation appraised the progress achieved in the last two weeks, challenges encountered, as well as available options on the best way forward. Uh, as far as uh, the work of the PTF uh, is concerned, he was off front with his commendation and uh, he assured us that the nation is uh, fully uh, behind us in the work that uh, he has charged us to do. And uh, uh, he is also appreciative of the work of the frontline workers. And uh, we also discussed the issues of compliance. And uh, he said we should continue to appeal to Nigerians and drive home the point that it is a personal responsibility. Is Nigeria winning this fight against COVID-19? We are. We are winning. We are winning. Uh, as a matter of fact, you just suppose the rate of cases with our uh, fatality rates, which is basically about 3%, other, other countries and other climes is over 10%. We have not reached the peak yet. And I, I wouldn't want to fool Nigerians by telling them that we are out of the woods. No, we are not out of the woods. As we even open up and accommodate more enterprises because we are trying to have a balance between livelihoods and lives. There's a likelihood of the increase in cases, but that should not be a source of despair. Although Nigeria now has close to 10,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and nearly 300 fatalities, some states are yet to be in tune with the reality of the situation. Apart from failing to cooperate with the NCDC as regards the containment drive, worship centers have also been reopened by some of them contrary to the social distancing protocol. That's uh, part of what uh, we have considered in its totality. I would await Mr. President's decision on that once I receive uh, his approval going forward as to certain recommendations that we have put in place. But I can assure you about one thing that the ownership of the next phase will be the responsibility of the states under national supervision and coordination. And it is very, very important we realize that no state can be an island unto itself. When you deal with public health matters, whatever happens in a particular locality has the consequences of spilling off to other constituencies. And, uh, and that is the message that we continue to drive in our pursuit of getting everybody to be on board. As the two weeks extension of the ease of COVID-19 lockdown ends on Monday, indications are that more segments of the nation's economy will be reopened. After we receive Mr. President's approval tonight or tomorrow morning, we will now know which segment of the economy uh, he has allowed to open. Nigeria recorded her first index case of coronavirus on February 27, 2020. And since then, President Muhammad Buhari, who is the champion of COVID-19 in West Africa and a judge, a role model for other nations by the World Health Organization, had addressed the nation three times. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.